Hello, coming up in today's edition of City News Daily on City TV Court throws out suit filed by the Progressive People's Party challenging the Electoral Commission's presidential and parliamentary filing fees for this year's election. Details of that shortly. An Accra High Court has dismissed an injunction suit against the Electoral Commission by the Progressive People's Party PPP on the controversial presidential and parliamentary filing fees. And as you may be aware, the EC was charging 50,000 Ghana cities for presidential nominees and 10,000 Ghana cities for parliamentary nominees. The Progressive People's Party last month sued the Electoral Commission and government through the Attorney General over the fees set by the Commission. But the court, presided over by Justice Daniel Mensah, dismissed the application and adjourned the substantive case to Tuesday, October 11, 2016. Now, the voter transfer exercise organized by the Electoral Commission ended today. However, these four weeks have not passed without pockets of violence in some areas. The two main political parties, the National Democratic Congress and the New Patriotic Party, have constantly disagreed over the legitimacy of some persons who sought to transfer their votes. Now, there have been allegations and counter-allegations over some parties attempting to take advantage of the process allegedly to rig this year's election. The Electoral Commission, for instance, suspended the exercise in Kukum in the Bono Ahaf region following violent clashes between supporters of the NPP and NDC. Two days ago, a similar incident was recorded at the EC head office in the Zabzugu Tatale district of the northern region. But in the face of all this, the Electoral Commission says the exercise has been successful. Speaking to City News Daily, the head of communications at the EC, Eric Jackbass, who said, although the exercise was marred by violence, they will review it and know the next line of action, whether to extend the exercise in some of the places where the pockets of violence were recorded. 97.3 City FM. Relevant radio. Always. Now let's go to the northern region and police in Tamale in that region are on a manhunt for some rioters who set ablaze about four houses in search of some women they claim are witches. The angry youth from Nyashigu in the Tamale metropolis went on rampage this morning, burning houses belonging to these women. Speaking to City News Daily, the Tamale Metropolitan Police Commander, Chief Superintendent Wisdom Laboy said, it was the timely intervention of the police and military personnel that stopped the youth from lynching the women. Meanwhile, two suspects have been arrested. Second image international admissions in progress. Courses available include hairdressing, beauty therapy and fashion. Call us 1243 331 Evening and weekend classes are also available. And that'll be all for today on City News Daily on City TV. My name is Paola Kanyo-Furi. Enjoy your weekend.